In this video we're going to talk about how to identify the quality of a triad when you see the whole thing. You don't have to create it, you actually just have to identify it. So let's start with a mystery triad. I'm going to give you treble clef and I'm going to put a lot of sharps on the staff. So we see F, A, C, but they are all sharped. The root of the chord is the low note, so it's F sharp. So here's how we get the chord quality. We need to compare. You have to have your cheat sheet to do this. So I'm going to the F sharp major scale because the low note is the name of my scale. So here, oh, where is it? F sharp. Okay. So now I've got F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. We're simply going to see what the scale does. And the scale does F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. It's an exact match. Well, if it's an exact match, it's major. So that's easy, isn't it? Because if we see that columns 1, 3, and 5 match up exactly to what we're given, then we don't have to calculate anything. But now let's do something that's not going to match. So I'm going to give you um, E, G, and B with no accidentals. Okay, the root of the chord is E, the low note. So we're going straight to the E major scale. Here we go. So we're going to compare now. E, G sharp, B. Well, that's major. So what's different? Going back to this one, it's the middle note, right? So here we see that we have G sharp, and here the middle note is different. So here's the process that I want you to think about. The chordal third, that's always the middle note, is different. So that's what I'm writing up here. Well, if the chordal third is different, then the quality can only be one thing. It's minor. Because remember that when we made minor triads, we're going to reverse engineer the thought process, when we took the major triad, we altered the chordal third. Okay, that's the only change that makes major into minor. So, if the only difference between the cheat sheet and the chord that you're given is the chordal third, then minor is the only choice. Okay, let's do a different one. I'll do bass clef this time. I'm going to do G, B flat, D flat. So let me put those flats on the staff. So, what scale are we looking at? If the low note is G, we're going to the G major scale. So let's go over here. Now, as we look at this, we see G, B, D. That's major. So the cheat sheet gives us major. So what's different here? Well, the chordal third and the chordal fifth are different. So which quality required us to change both columns three and five? Well, it's diminished. So we don't even really have to know what the accidentals are. We just have to know that there's two changes, a change to column three, a change to column five. So we simply say the chordal third and fifth are different. That's all we need to know. Just that those, both of those top notes are different, therefore our quality is diminished. And finally, let's do one more. I'll still do bass clef. And I'm going to do B, D sharp, F double sharp. Woo, that looks really scary. So B is the root, so we're going to the B major scale. Okay, so I see B, D sharp. Well, certainly it's not an F double sharp here because there aren't any major scales with double sharps. So these two are the same and this one's different. Okay, so with the chordal fifth being the only difference, right? So it's just one change. The chordal fifth is different than the cheat sheet. Then our triad has to be augmented. And I'll tell you a secret. Any double sharp automatically means an augmented triad. Okay, because augmented triads are the only ones where we raise the given note from the cheat sheet. So if it goes to a double sharp, it's automatically augmented. Okay, so that's pretty easy then. If it all matches, it's major. If the middle note's different, it's minor. If the middle note and the top note are different, it's diminished. And then finally, if only the top note is different, it's augmented.